hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video I'm going to show you how I trim my natural hair and as you can see the before and after is like day and night but before we go into the trim here are some signs you need to know if you need a trim and signs that you don't need a trim so just pause this video right here and read up so here are some tools that you're going to need some clips different sizes of combs and hair shears please ensure that you are using a hair shears because if you don't use a hair shears you're going to get more damage so because i'm trying to reshape my hair i put my hair in two sections from the edges to the middle part of my hair and then from the middle part of my hair down so those are the two layers and the back part i just sectioned that off in half left and right so that's how i have the three sections so right here i'm showing you where i'm going to essentially cut off but i like to cut my hair in stages small pieces at a time until i work my way up to my goal so where you're seeing resistance is where i need to cut my hair because there is where you have the tangles the split and the single strand knots and we are going to get rid of all of that so i like to detangle with white tooth comb and then the middle teeth comb and then the fine tooth comb and then i stretch my hair down that is the shape that i want i don't carry my hair out to an angle so i'm going to start trimming now i like to trim a section multiple times to ensure that i'm getting rid of all the damage and as i said before i start out small because it's always easy to go back in when you start off small but when you start off big you cannot reattach your hair that you cut off so right now I'm just examining my hair and I'm still feeling resistance at the end and I'm feeling resistance in the middle of my hair so I'm doing a search and destroy method where I put my hair between my two fingers and I just run down and the hair that sticks out are usually the damaged pieces so I tend to do that throughout my head a lot because initially like when you cut your hair down and you're just only cutting the ends sometimes you miss the split end that are located inside the hair so I like to do this method so that I can get most of my damage if not all of my split end so I just repeat this multiple times and uh, yeah it's pretty simple and self-explanatory if you don't feel comfortable cutting your hair please go to a professional so you see right there I'm feeling resistance so I'm going to go back over that spot again so because I'm reshaping my hair I am going to combine all the pieces in this this would be my right section and cut it together so that most of the hair are at one length so what i do a recap i take the right section break it into smaller pieces and cut those pieces according to the damage then i'm going to do the search and destroy method throughout my hair to get out most of the split ends that are located inside of my hair then I'm going to combine those sections together and then cut, do a final cut to ensure that it's even and healthy. I'm just showing you how my ends look after I'm finished cutting it. So I, as I said before, I do this same thing throughout the section and I'm going to do that to the the left side of my hair and then when I reach a front section I'm going to come back and tell you what I'm doing it's ultimately the same thing though but I do cut my hair in a slight slight angle
final section so what i do i just section up a smaller subsection detangle it all the way to the roots and then i care my hair down and i cut across just like that and i repeat this all throughout my head as you can see right here detangle i know it's not showing that i'm going to my roots but i am going to my roots and i'm just matching up that hair with the previously cut hair the previously cut hair is my hair guide so this is the last subsection detangle and then i'm going to match it with the rest of the hair that piece is a bit smaller than the rest of the hair so i'm just cutting that accordingly and then i don't know if i show it in this video but i comb the entire hair together and then i cut it at a slight angle to give me a nice little shape going on just like this and my hair feels so much better and healthier and it looks amazing and it's shaped so i hope you have a wonderful and blessed day bye